Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Okay, got these fresh green beans. I'm getting ready to snap them, put them in my bowl. You guys can use, uh, listen, if you can't find fresh at your local grocery store, you can, uh, it's okay to use frozen uh, green beans, but listen, fresh is always better. Okay, we got a tablespoon of uh, garlic. This right here, we got two teaspoons of sugar. Gotta have that sugar. Hey, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, look, when you was learning to cook, I know when you saw somebody add that sugar, like your mama or your grandmama, I know you was saying something about it. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna add some salt and we're gonna add some pepper. Look, that's a teaspoon each of, uh, of both. I will say this, listen, when you use this Creole Kick Sweet Smoky Joe's, one of the things I like about it is that it doesn't have that heavy salt intake you know, content. So listen, you can always wake it up just a tad bit, but you want to talk about the flavor, this is it right here. Creole Kick, Creole Kick, you guys. Hey, listen, I'll leave a link down in the comment section below and in my description box where you guys can get it. And don't forget, you get a 10% discount, you know, on your total uh, purchase. Hey, listen, you gotta get it. It's early, gotta have it for the holidays if you ask me. All right, right here, we got two cups of chicken broth. Then I got these potatoes right here. You guys can use whatever type of potatoes you like. I like these little red ones right here. I try to find them like around this size. You know what I mean? Try to keep them all uniform. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in, uh, you know, in quarters. This right here, I got two, four, six, eight. And then we got a red onion. These right here is like a rough chop. You know, I just put these here and underneath I got them diced. But listen, this was like a medium sized uh, red onion. This right here, I love the flavor of red onion. And to be honest with you guys, this is like my favorite onion red then yellow all right then we got bacon right here i had some leftover bacon just from you know the other day so i had this in the ziploc bag and then if i need any more i'm gonna go ahead and use my local uh, store brand, uh store bought brand you know uh bacon that's all you gonna probably use about, about eight slices five slices now look i'm not cooking a whole lot you know what i mean i'm just hey this right here is gonna be just for dinner so i'm gonna put the full ingredient list down in the description box below for those of you guys who are going to be doing this for like the you know hol uh, holidays so now let me go ahead and snap put them in here and then we're getting ready to get cooking now look when it comes to snapping green beans this part is totally up to you it depends on how long they are how big of uh, stream i mean green beans that you like you know some of them are going to be you know so long you can break them into thirds but either way you know half a do this part is totally up to you all right look now that I'm done with that, you can see it's up to you how, what size you like them to be. You know, I got them all different sizes, but all of them been snapped. You know what, they already been cleaned already. So now we're getting ready to move on to the next thing. Now, for the amount of uh, green beans that I'm using, I got six slices of uh, bacon right here. This will be just enough. You know, this will work just fine. I don't have to open this pack. But again, don't forget, look down in the description box below for the full ingredient list and how many people it serves and all of that. All right, for this part right here, all you wanna do is you just wanna cut your bacon. You wanna cut it in maybe like one inch strips. But the main thing is we wanna get that flavor, right? So I'll just take it like this and we'll just cut it down, drop it right into your pot. After we get through cutting these, then we're gonna go ahead and just put it put it on the uh, fire and we're getting ready to start rendering us some fat and some flavor, y'all. You know what I'm doing right here is just separating it. That's all. Now, that's what it looks like. Hey, I just wanna say, I know it's super easy. You know what, we just gotta do it. You guys got a video guide, we gonna follow it. But right now we finna follow this pot right over here to this stove and we finna get it in. Okay, so now we're on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and light this up. I'm gonna start with like a medium high heat. And we're getting ready to render, you guys. Now, meanwhile, while your bacon is, you know, rendering down and you frying your bacon, now's a good time to go ahead and cut your, your potatoes. You wanna cut them in half and then you want a quarter to half. You want all of, all of your uh, potatoes to be the right size so they all be finished cooking at the same time. Now this right here is the way I like to see my, you know, my bacon look. I don't want to go too hard. I don't want it super crispy. I like it to have, you know, have that little elasticity to it. So what I'm going to do is reduce this down a little bit. Reduce this down to like a low. Now we're going to take this out. And what we want to do is we want to leave that bacon grease in there. 
And then for those of you guys, you know what I mean? Because I know everybody does need pork. You know what? You can get yourself some kind of turkey bacon or something like that and render what you can off of that. And that'll start and that'll be your base. Just want to put it on a, you know, a plate line with some paper so it can absorb some of the grease off of this right here. That's all. And to be honest with you, and now that I said that, it, it's okay if you have some grease on that. Now, remember the onions? Now we're going to add our onions to this. We just want to cook it down a little bit. We're not going to cook them all the way down. We just want to soften them up. And after that, then we're going to add our garlic. Doesn't make no difference. I like to have like bigger pieces. Like I said, some I diced and you know, some I rough, rough chopped. Now we're gonna bring that fire back up to medium. And we're gonna let this bacon grease and these onions do their thing. Okay, look, <clears throat> I just brought the heat down just a little bit because we getting ready to introduce, you know, we get ready to introduce our uh, minced garlic. But this right here is what I'm talking about. Listen, it's real fragrant. You can smell it. Man, it smells good. I'm telling you guys, man, don't you guys sleep on these uh these red onions. I know everybody likes to use that uh, yellow onion, which is red onion, that's it. And you know what? It brings a lot of color to your dish too. So, got this, got this bacon fat, you know, this bacon grease, you know what I mean? It's, uh, man, it's saturated with this red onion. Now, let me go ahead and get the, uh, the garlic. And then right after the garlic, then we're gonna introduce, you know, some of our seasoning, and then we're gonna put these potatoes in. Remember, you just want to move it, keep it moving around. You want to get it in here. You just want it to release its flavor also, but we don't want to burn it. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. Now, all you want to do right here is you just want to introduce your potatoes, you know, to your garlic and onion and you know, your grease mix. What you want to do is you just want to move it around, get everything coated, and you want to put some heat into your potatoes. Okay. Now we're getting ready to add the salt and pepper. And the sugar. Man, I hope you guys are looking at this down here. This should make everybody run out to the grocery store right now and just go. You probably got everything that you need in the, ca on the cabinets in your pantry as far as seasoning goes already. All you're gonna need is some potatoes and some uh, some fresh green beans and like I said earlier even if you can't get fresh green beans you can use frozen also now I'm getting ready to bring that Creole kick we're gonna sprinkle this on here like this Ooh we y'all now look at those look at those onions that's the way you want your onions to be so it's all in the timing start with your onions you let them cook throughout the process but you introduce your other ingredients you know along with it so by the time everything is just about right now it's time to introduce, you know what? That's the string beans. Then I'm gonna put that bacon in here with it too. And now the chicken broth. I'm making sure we on medium, medium high heat. What I'm doing now is just making sure everything is, you know, coated. We getting all of the grease, everything on these green beans. Listen, we're gonna cook them down. Now we're gonna add just a couple of cups of water. What we wanna do is make sure that we got at least halfway, you know, we wanna have the pot halfway full of, uh, you know, liquid. Now I say water, but if you guys been following me, you know, anytime that I use water, you know, or they say, you know, add water or whatever, I go ahead and use chicken stock. So what I'm doing is just adding some more to it. And if I don't have enough left, then I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. We just wanna add, maybe look like it only gonna take about a cup. Now the objective is just to get it, you know, about so hot, just enough to almost cover it, but not fully cover it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir it up and we're gonna make sure that everything has been coated. And then as it cooks down, it'll submerge itself inside of the, uh, inside of our broth. I'm gonna put the lid on first. I wanna bring it to a boil. Then I wanna bring it down to a simmer and we're gonna simmer it for one hour. Now, when, after we get through, you know, mixing everything, making sure everything has been coated, and you know what, what we wanna do is just make sure that everything is, you know, touching the liquid as close as possible. Then you wanna go ahead and get your lid, put your lid on, and again, listen, we're gonna cook this for one hour, and we're gonna simmer it. Okay, this is what we got after one hour. 
Now you can see right here, this is what we were looking for. This is what you were trying to achieve from the very beginning. Now you just want to get yourself a fork and you want to test it. Hit those potatoes, make sure they're fork tender. And you know what, then test your uh, green beans. But I promise you folks, after one hour, ooh wee, this is gonna be good. Southern style green beans at its finest. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what, this one right here truly is super easy. You know, it's just, uh, you put, you know, you get your beans. You know what, you wanna start with fresh beans if you can. If not, like I said, you know, twice in this video. You know what, if you gotta use, uh, you know, frozen green beans, then, you know, do that by all means. But if you can, do use them fresh. Now, for those of you guys that are new to this, you know, this will be your first time, you know, ever uh, making these Southern style, you know, green beans. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, tell me what you think after you make this. You guys gotta come back and let me know. And listen, I know I use the word Southern a lot. Listen, the Southern is just a combination of like, you know, the Cajun slash Creole. You know, it's that combination with that, along with that salt, that pepper. Hey, don't forget that bacon grease. Hey, listen, that's right there. All of that together, that's what makes it Southern. If you put this out for the holiday, I guarantee everybody gonna be asking you, hey, where did this come from? Hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and take this time to just say, hey, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, you know how I'm finna get out of here. Peace.